welcome back to my channel. Chloe here, and we're going to be taking another look at Raptor Boyfriend today. I believe that we're on episode four, but I can't count. So you know what? Just check the playlist that's on the channel. If it's not on the main page for some reason, such as I forgot to put it there, which is very likely a possibility, you can always go to the playlist sec section of my channel to see what games I've played, see the lists, because I put everything into a list so that it's easy to organize and easy for people to find. So last episode was really exciting because even though the party didn't turn out as well as we wanted, Robert did give us a hug on the way home. So I think he likes us, boys and girls, though. So, we're gonna see what happens. We're on episode two. I have no idea how long this game is, to be completely honest, so I have no idea how many episodes there are, but we'll see. It's been like a month, and I still hadn't had any significant alone time with Day, Taylor, or Robert. Don't get me wrong, Doc. I enjoy just going to the lake together, driving them around, and a family and a people to eat my lunch at school with, but I was starting to get worried that we were becoming just a bunch of casual buds. I wanted to know if we would like work well together, like as a couple or something, but I didn't even know if they were going out with anybody or whether they wanted a relationship. Is this a polyamorous visual novel? Hmm, interesting. I didn't even know they're like zodiac signs. Of course I made a plan. I was gonna get them alone if it was the last thing I did. That did sound a bit creepy. Wh whatever, you know what I mean. I was really into them and I wanted to get to know them more. I knew you'd want to know this plan. Okay, so here it is. I was gonna get some alone time with them by... Being like a ninja, I was gonna use stealth and ingenuity. I'd use darkness and shadows to my advantage. They wouldn't even notice that we were alone until it was too late. Again, I'm really not meaning for this to come out so creepily. I know. The plan seemed perfect to me at the time, too. Me, Day, Taylor, and Robert were just put into the same work group for a science project. We were trying to find a time when we could get together after school to work on it, and I was having trouble focusing. Hmm. Interesting. Stella? Stella! Back me up here. These guys are trying to flake out on meeting up for the project tonight. I couldn't tell them I was too busy thinking about my plan to get some alone time with them to pay attention. So I thought, wait, but if there's a project, then they all have to be there. So just back up day. Wait, I was thinking about getting acrylic nails. Acrylic nails? Yeah, what do you think? I think good luck finding a place that applies fake nails and ladle. Oh, right. For now, leave the talents to me, self-love. Hmm. I don't know why I read that. I read that very inappropriately. That's my bad. That's on me. Look, we're running out of time to get the project together. And you two are really dragging this out. That's all I'm saying. It's a too lousy, busy work presentation. It's a challenging project that tests our knowledge of what it would take to colonize Mars. Yeah, busy work. Ugh. I wasn't really that into doing the presentation. To be honest, public speaking has always been a nightmare for me. But then I realized that this could be an opportunity to hang out. And the more time we spent together, the more chances of a successful mission. Come on, guys. Day's bright. We should get together soon. I've been saying I'm down to do it. It's just gotta be the right time and place. The energy. How about tonight at the library? Library? At night? Yeah, Miss Bird lets me study there when my house gets too disruptive. Are you nuts? I don't go in there. Not a big reader? No, I get it. I mostly stick to fiction, so school libraries... I mean, no, as in that's not why I'd ever never go there at night. Okay, there's a cursed book in there. Here we go. A book that if you read it, you'll die in 14 days. No one knows what it looks like, but it sits somewhere on those shelves, waiting. What? What? Yeah, what? That's ridiculous. Is it? Then what do you think happened to Brian Brancher? He fell while climbing a cliff. Exactly 14 days after he was seen reading a strange book. Where? The library? At the library! Boom! Nice one, self-love. All right, I get it, even if I don't believe it. We can do it somewhere else, then. Look, we should just slap some pictures of Mars on a Bristol board and call it a day. I know you don't take school seriously, but I don't want to fail. Hey, Taylor's turned over a new leaf. I have. Totally, man. I can't remember ever seeing you at school, so, like, consistently? Yeah, constantly. I mean, whatever. It's the last year. I just thought I'd make an appearance, at least. Surprised to hear that even just showing up to school is a rare occurrence for Taylor. Heard he wasn't into the school thing, but I didn't think it went that far. I remember wondering what changed. Was it really just that it was the last year? It was so dense. We gotta stay focused. I don't care where we get to work together on the project. I just want to work on it. Say no more. We can do it tonight at my place. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not so sure I'll be able to make that. Oh, come on, man. I've got snacks, tunes, and a sweet minibar. Plus, my parents will be out of town this weekend. It's perfect. 
I'm not sure that the mini bar is gonna get a ton of use during a study party. Party? <laughs> right, right, of course. So wait, it's not a party then, right? I'm gonna say no. Uh, I don't blame you though, self-love. It does contain all the elements that are required for a party. Except for one crucial feature, the people. That can easily be fixed though. Okay, Robert, it's starting to sound like your place might not be the best to concentrate on the project. Whoa, 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 day. Relax. <laughs> you can rely on me. My only interest is the task at hand. When it counts, I'm a lean green schoolwork machine. Only when it counts though. Yep. How do you decide when it counts and when it doesn't? I just do. Like right now, I was all like, does this one count? And then I was like, yeah, it totally does. Simple as that. Amazing. Okay, fine. Robert's house it is. We'll meet there tonight. Does that work for everyone? Totally. I guess. Totally. I just copied Robert's answer. Okay, see you guys later then. Stella, can I talk to you for a sec? Taylor and Robert were off to the next period and it was just us. Stella, I'm gonna need you to help me get those two to actually show up and work on the project. What do you need me to do? I don't know, maybe you could go pick them up or something? Steady party's at Robert's house though. Okay, maybe you can just go check on them. Thought about going to check on Taylor and Robert and how that would give me an opportunity to maybe have some quality time, alone time with each of them. Also, can I get a ride from you to Robert's? And I made three. Stella, you little adorable bisexual disaster. You're getting yourself into a mess, sweetie. Who do you want to call when you want some pepperoni? Samurai Pizza Cats. What did Dad say? Hope school's going well. Work project is going longer than I thought. It's been hard to wrangle the team together. Anyway, sorry I couldn't be home for dinner. There should be leftovers in the freezer. Love you, Dad. 15 degrees in Norwell, Ontario. No chance of rain. A perfect sunny day. We will walk you through the weather for the rest of the week here. Stay tuned. Hey, it's Doug. I finally had a chance to go over the numbers on your property. My advice is to hold on to it for now. A lot of people seem fairly certain later will benefit from the planned highway expansion. Down on a direct route to Highway 10, you could be looking at double the current asking price. If you were still eager to turn around, though, I'm happy to act as your agent. Call me back either way. Oh, so this move may or may not be permanent. Still, we should probably talk about this project since it's already Saturday, huh? <laughs> Anyways, if we're still going, I'm gonna need a ride from the lake later. Give me a call if you can. Hey, just wondering if you're, like, still going to Robert's tonight. I mean, if anyone else is, anyway, give me a call and let me know if you're going, that is. I'll be at the campground doing band practice if you want to swing by, so yeah. Okay, yeah. Hey, self-love. Just wondering what's happening tonight. I wanted to do this thing before our thing. I'll be at Highway 54 with a sick surprise. Anyways, give me a call. Desk. After I cleared my desk, I wanted a place to keep all my memories. Aw, so this is where I can keep all my memories with, like, Robert and each of them? That's so cute. I'm gonna... Wow. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure out... We'll call Robert again. Wait, hold on. Can I, like, dial... Oh, no, 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 no. I can't actually dial the phone. I was gonna dial 911 and see what happens. 091. Star. Nope, nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Okay. I feel like there's gonna be a secret there, but I don't know what it is. Yo, self-love! Hey, Robert. I had a feeling you would call at this very moment. I've got goosebumps. Really? No, I got dino skin. <laughs> right. So are we getting together tonight? For the project, I mean. That reminds me. What are you doing later? Thought we were going to your house. Right, right, right. Totally. Robert, we are going to work on the project, aren't we? Stella, why are you so worried? You always seem so chill about school before. I'm not worried about my grade or anything, but I'm be freaked out about giving a presentation. Oh man, really? Yeah, just the idea of standing up in front of the whole class? I've never been good at it. Have you tried the old picture everyone naked trick? I've tried that and it definitely doesn't help. Makes sense, actually. I feel like it'd just be distracting. Also, it feels weird to picture people you know in your class naked, unless you're into them or something. So, how are you so confident when you talk to people? I don't know, I just am. Sorry, self-love. I don't know how my twisty brain works. Wait, when's your birthday? November 30th? Why? So you're Sagittarius, then. Alright, that explains a lot. No, you're not a Zodiac- I'm fine. It's fine. What do you mean? Nothing, it's just Sagittarius are bold, that's all. Oh, okay, sweet. So you've never been embarrassed, like, ever? 
Not really. What? Really? I can't believe that. Well, okay, maybe there was this one time. Actually, I don't know. Come on, tell me, please. All right, all right, you gotta promise not to tell anyone. Promise? Of course, promise. So there was this one time in, like, freshman year when I got really into English class, and not because Miss Klein is hot or whatever, because that's what all my unsophisticated friends would talk about. Usually I'm just kind of whatever when it comes to school, but that year her class was, like, really good. I was, like, learning stuff and enjoying it. Anyway, we were doing poetry for a while, you know, Shakespeare and shit, but then we got to do creative writing, like writing your own poetry. I used to love that class too, but I was always too nervous to write anything good, so I just wrote lousy haikus about food that I liked. Yeah, well, when I wrote mine, it was like the first time I ever felt nervous doing something. But it was such a rush. A rush? I don't know. Next thing I know, Miss Klein is like praising it in front of the class and telling me to submit it to the Ontario Scholars Literary Competition. And of course, everyone laughed and made fun of me. None of my friends thought I'd seriously submit it. But I don't know, I guess I was just so sick of their shit that I did it anyway. I submitted it, I mean, just to like show him. Whoa, and then what happened? Did you win? I won like fifth place. It was the first time I competed in something that I knew I wouldn't get first place. But it was still like the scariest thing I ever did. Really even more scary than snowboarding down the diamond hill? It's black diamond, but yeah, wicked, right? Now you see what I mean when I say I don't know my brain works. And you kept writing. Well, like I said, poetry is just nobody thinks of me that way, I guess. And I haven't really uh, shown anyone else my writing since then, except for you, of course. <laughs> wow, I'm honored, Robert. Did you friends still teach you? For sure. They said I, the only reason I was doing any of it was because I had a thing for Miss Klein. Did you? No way! She's not even remotely my type. Alright, cool. Anyways, if it makes you feel any better, everyone does embarrassing things. Even I, Master Snowboarder, Class Rep, and Sagitta Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Yeah, that. <laughs> Thanks. Don't thank me now. Thank me tonight. At your place? For the project? Right! No, actually... Well, I've got the surprise I really want to show you before then. Come on, get excited. I'm not used to surprises. Oh, okay, you're not interested. That's okay, I guess. I'd like to see your surprise. Oh, awesome. Meet me at Highway 54 at 6 and get psyched. Don't bring anyone with you, okay? Okay. Sweet. So I'll see you at Highway 54 at 6? Sure. Sweet. See you, self-love. I guess I had to wrangle everyone to get to Robert's that night. What I didn't know was how complicated it would be. First I went to see Taylor and Brandon at band practice. They were pretty good together, I guess. I was so surprised at Taylor's place. It was kind of small and cramped. It was like I had a window into his life for the first time in four years and I didn't really understand what I was seeing. I guess I didn't really at the time. All right, dude, let's call it. I don't think we're getting any further on this one. Oh, okay. Just not so sure about your guitar sound, man. It's way too spacey or something. I'm not feeling it. I was just trying something different. Well, it doesn't sound heavy enough. It sounds weird. Yeah, man, and your vocals. Hey, what do you think? Oh, me? Uh... I love it. Really? Yeah. Man, why are you asking her? You should just turn down the delay next time. Sure, whatever. So this is your place, huh? Yeah, this is where the magic happens. I remember these cabins from camp. It's not exactly Bigfoot sized, huh? Hey, Alan, it's a sick pad. We got everything we need right here. Except the toilet. Whatever, there's now a house that right out back. <laughs> Dude, it's too much for her ladylike sensibilities. I've been in the woods before. We used to do that all the time. Not together, I hope. <laughs> so where's everybody? Why are there so many vacant cabins? Camp's closed down. Oh my god, really? Yeah, man, for like years now. Taylor, why didn't you tell me? Fear wouldn't be a great welcome back to point out the camp's closed, I guess. Well, I guess that this band practice is pretty much over. Sure. So anyways, try and tighten up your playing. You're getting kind of sloppy. So we're getting your lyrics. You're sounding too touchy-feely. I know you're into that acoustic shit, but that's not going to work for a live set. Sure, Brandon. All right. And dude, don't forget we have practice on Fridays. Yeah? So maybe don't book your school shit on that night. No promises, man. I still need to graduate. Whatever. I'll see you, I guess. Why is he such a dick? Brandon? Really surprised by the way Brandon talked to Taylor, like he wasn't even capable of thinking for himself. The Taylor I knew would have ditched him after that. Made me wonder if there was something more to their relationship, something I wasn't getting. What do you mean? What do you mean? See with you and Brandon, what do you mean? Are you two, you know, together? We're just bandmates right now. So, but like, were you ever together? Where's this coming from? I was just curious. I guess we were close, okay? Okay. What 
that mean? I still wasn't sure, but it was obviously something Taylor did not want to talk about. So with the precious long time, I finally scored something more and more of a downer. I tried something drastic. I tried my plan. Seal lip jutsu. Very well done. I didn't know that you were a fellow practitioner of the shadowy arts. Shadowy arts? What are you even talking about? Did you really say lip sealed lip jutsu? Uh, never mind. Yeah, that didn't go well. I felt like this timing wasn't right. If it's a Naruto reference. I know, sweetie. There's an achievement. <laughs> I knew I had to put the plan in my fanny pack for later to switch tactics. So it must be kind of cool to have a place to play your music as loud as you want. Yeah, there's nobody around to piss off, that's for sure. Taylor, I can't believe it. It's official. The camera is closed permanently? Yep. What are your parents going to do? What do they have to say? I don't know. Where are they anyway? I haven't seen them since I moved back. Out in the woods somewhere? You know how Bigfoots are. I guess they were always pretty busy, huh? Gathering wood for the camp, running programs, living off the land. It must be a lot of work. They definitely didn't at all. Well, you helped. Kinda. You were in charge of the lake sports, maintaining the courses and the high ropes. Man, it sucks so hard at the high ropes course. Remember one time I went all the way to the top of the flying squirrel course? Yeah. And then you totally chickened out and got stuck up there. You climbed all the way up there just to get me back down. The only way I can convince you to come down was by getting you to close your eyes and climb on my back. You still wouldn't even let me go, even when we were on the ground. <laughs> right. That was so embarrassing. Yeah. Well, it's all pretty much torn down now. Oh, right. I guess it would be- When did it happen? It all came down about a year ago now. It's so weird. I guess I wanted to be able to come back and have everything be the same. You're kidding, right? Stella, it's been four years. Four years I had to spend alone, picking up the pieces of the mess my parents left behind when the camp closed. Not hearing back from you. Listen, Taylor, the reason I stopped writing is I had feelings for you. You did? I did. I guess I was afraid that if I kept writing, it would be so obvious. Uh, please don't make fun of me. I wouldn't. Taylor looked like he was caught off guard for a second. Look, I, uh, never mind. Felt like Taylor was holding back from saying something. I thought that we cleared the air, but something still wasn't right between us. Then I remember my mission from day. Do you think you can make it over to Roberts tonight? It's a waste of time. Come on. This project flies in the face of everything that I stand for. It's really just so horrible, I know. I try to be very intentional with my time on this planet. Don't we all? It's beneath me. It's beneath you. It's beneath all of us. Please? <sighs> Fine, you can stop looking at me like that. I'll go. Oh, Taylor, thank you. But don't expect me to take this project seriously. I know, I know. You're determined to show everyone how insignificant it is. Whatever. I'll see you at Roberts. You don't need a ride? Nah, it's not far. I've gotta finish packing some of this stuff up from practice, too. Okay, I'll see you there. This was some nice jamming, by the way. That's nice. So that didn't go the way I wanted it to. I felt like I really stepped in it with Taylor. And my plan to be a ninja hadn't helped at all, but it wasn't about to give up yet. I'm gonna bring this episode to a close because if I, I worry that if I keep going, it's going to be a very long episode, so I'm going to cut it now after this section. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like on the video. It really does help the channel out. Also consider subscribing. When you subscribe, be sure to then hit the notifications bell so you get updates on when I upload future episodes. Without further ado, thank you all so, so, so much for watching. Bye! I would like to give a very special shout out and thanks to my patrons, AceWolf741, Deep Dive Dylan, D. Roberts, Brian White, D. Vol J, Caleb Putnam, Robin Harper, Bob Conway, Cody Webb, and Maticus Sama.